Griffin. And I'm Kristen Button. And you're watching Cabarrus This Week, where we're at Concord Museum for their newest exhibition. Kristen's going to tell you all about it. We've got tons of information on the show. Stay tuned. Cabarrus This Week goes back in time at the Concord Museum's newest exhibition, Number Please, 120 Years of Progress, the story of the Concord Telephone Company. The Concord Telephone Company began in a spare room in the back of the Concord National Bank in 1897 and served Cabarrus, Stanley, and Rowan counties for more than a century. Daniel Branson Coltrane, founder of the bank, and his son, Lester D. Coltrane, Sr., helped found Concord Telephone Company. The Coltrane family remained involved in the company until it was sold to Windstream in 2007. The exhibition features artifacts, documents, and photographs from Historic Cabarrus Association's Concord Telephone Company collection, gifted to the museum. Visitors will have the opportunity to view and interact with a visual timeline of the evolution of the telephone from the early 20th century to today. Number Please is on display at the Concord Museum through January 26, 2018. The museum is located inside the historic Cabarrus County Courthouse at 77 Union Street South and is open Tuesday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. For more information on number, please visit historiccabarrus.com or call 704-920-2465. The Concord branch of the library is getting into the Comic-Con craze. Con Squared or Concord Convention is Saturday, September 24th, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Meet Hugo award-winning author Ursula Vernon along with other authors, Ooh. artists, games, costume contests, and much more during this day-long comic event. For more information on Con Squared, September 23rd, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., Concord Branch of the Library, visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or call 704-920-2050. Pickleball continues to bring excitement to CABCO as the North Carolina Senior Games State Final returns to Carolina Courts in downtown Concord October 16th through 19th. The tournament is recruiting volunteers to assist with everything from line judges, which actually I'm going to go to training to do, so Fantastic. you don't need any experience, folks. <laughs> we also need area ambassadors. No experience is necessary, and you'll get a free t-shirt if you pre-register and volunteer four hours during the tournament. This is a great opportunity to extend a warm Cabarrus welcome to competitors from across the state and showcase our county. For more information or to register to volunteer for the North Carolina Senior Games Pickleball Finals, at Carolina Courts in downtown Concord, October 16th through the 19th, call 704-920-3484. It's that time again. Reptile and Amphibian Lovers Unite for Repticon, Saturday and Sunday, September 23rd and 24th. That's at the Cabarrus Arena and Event Center. Attendees can participate in educational presentations on topics ranging from python breedings to dart frogs. Ooh. Purchase your early VIP tickets online. $12 for adults and $5 for children ages 5 to 12. Ages 4 and younger are admitted free with a paying adult. The VIP ticket grants admission all weekend, allowing an early 9 a.m. admission on Saturday. Tickets are also available at the door, $10 for adults and $5 for ages 5 to 12. For more information or to purchase tickets to Repticon September 23rd and 24th, Cabarrus Arena and Event Center, visit CabarrusArena.com or call 704-920-3976. Hey, there's gold in that Thar Hills at Frank Liz Park. <laughs> Kids ages four and older can rush out for Gold Rush Treasure Hunt, Saturday, September 30th, 4 to 6 p.m. A professional miner will lead kids through the park for this golden challenge. The cost is only $2. Register before the word gets mm -hmm. out and miners come take over the park. Yep. For more information or to register for Gold Rush Treasure Hunt, September 30th, 4 to 6 p.m. at Frank Liz Park, visit cabarruscounty.us slash register or call 704-920-3484. Hey teens, your locker doesn't need to look like a tin can. That's what Kasha and I probably looked like yeah. when we were mm -hmm. in school. It looked, Mine looked like a junkyard actually. Yes, same. Come to the Mount Pleasant Library for Teen Takeover DIY Locker Decor on Thursday, September 21st, 5 p.m. Teens will design a practical locker that looks awesome with magnets, portable cool. mirrors, and shelving to keep you organized. Gotta have a good mirror, yes. right? For more information on Teen Takeover DIY Locker Decor, September 21st, 5 p.m. at Mount Pleasant Branch at the Library, visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or call 704-920-2250.
1-800-242-1802. Music on Means brings the tunes to downtown Concord Thursday, September 21st, 6 to 9 p.m. with Gump Fiction, the ultimate 90s experience. I think I still have some Doc Martens that I could probably wear <laughs> to this event. These Thursday Flannel nights, is back. Flannel so is back. like it's yeah. back in the day. It We're is. back in the 90s. Good thing I never threw away any of that stuff. (laughs) These Thursday nights are more than music, with local restaurants and merchants spilling onto the sidewalk to engage your family and friends. For more information on Music on Means, September 21st, 6 to 9 p.m. in downtown Concord, visit concorddowntown.com or call 704-784-4208. Herbs not only make our food interesting, they assist in our health, too. Plants have been the basis for medical treatment through much of human history, and such traditional medicine is still widely practiced today throughout the world. Learn about basic herbalism practices, including how to prepare, preserve, and ferment common herbs you might grow or find locally. That event is on Friday, September 22nd, 2 to 4 p.m. at the Harrisburg branch of the library. Aubrey Mast of the North Carolina State University Plants for Human Health Institute will share the latest research on common and obscure herbs and demonstrate how you can use them in culinary and medicine purposes. For information on Understanding Herbs, September 22nd, 2 to 4 p.m. at the Harrisburg branch of the library, visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or call 704 920-2080. Hunt for nature through sounds, tracks, and scat during a nature hike that's Saturday, September 23rd, 10 to 11 a.m. at Camp 10 Spencer Park. This free adventure is open to those aged 5 and older. Hunters walk away with a tracking ID board of all their adventures of the day. Hopefully not the scat. I was just about you to say that. don't want to track your scat. Don't bring the scat the, home. Yeah. For more information on, on the Wild web. Wonders Track and Scat, September 23rd, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. at Camp 10 Spencer Park, visit cabarruscounty.us slash register or call 704-920-3484. Words can be so powerful, so powerful that many authorities feel it's necessary to ban books. True story, the censorship mainly took place in the early part of the century all over the world. Works like Wizard of Oz, Gone with the Wind, and Green Eggs and Ham, Sam I Am were (laughs) once banned, that rhymed as well, in (laughs) countries across the world. Kannapolis branch of the library is celebrating Banned Books Week, September 30th, 3 to 4 p.m., with a dress-up celebration. Come dressed as your favorite banned book character and discuss why it's important to protect your right to read. you got to fight for your right. For more information on the Banned Books Week discussion, Kannapolis branch of the library, September 30th, 3 to 4 p.m., visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or call 704 Nine two zero one one eight zero. Funky with a smooth and cool vibe. Thanks. Not you. The Suffers mixes classic soul, rock and roll, and reggae into a groove called Gulf Coast Soul. You can see this lively 10-piece rhythm and horn ensemble fronted by Cam Franklin's Smoky Vocals at the Davis Theater Tuesday, September 26th at 7.30 p.m. They are much cooler than we are. Yeah, yeah. so much cooler. The Suffers has appeared on The Late Show with David Letterman and NPR's Tiny Desk Series. For more information on The Suffers, September 26th at 7.30 p.m., visit CabarrusArtsCouncil.org or call 704-920-2747. More than a 5K, the Run Kannapolis Duke Dash 5K and Health Fest is a morning of fun activities like line dancing and Zumba and yoga and face painting. The Duke Dash 5K is Saturday, September 23rd, 9 a.m. and the Health Fest is 10 a.m. to noon. The run and festival are free. The first 250 people who register online receive a free event t-shirt. For more information on the Duke Dash 5K and Health Fest, September 23rd, 9 a.m. to noon, visit runcanapolis.com. Get your throwing arm ready for the seventh annual Battle of the Bags. That's Saturday, September 23rd at Harrisburg Town Hall. Cornhole teams of two compete in this great event for just $75, and all proceeds benefit Special Olympics of Cabarrus County. The bags fly at 11.30 a.m. We should sign up for this together. That's a good pitch, Kristen. You're welcome. I got it. (laughs) Trophies awarded for first and second place teams. First place also receives a cash prize of $250. Not a cornholer? There's something for everyone during this day-long event. 
A children's area has games and inflatables with music and fire trucks. Adults can take a chance with raffle baskets and cash raffles, and vendors are set up all along the lawn. For more information on Bags in the Burke, September 23rd, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., visit harrisburgnc.org or call 704-455-7275. Everyone loves a parade, yes. and everyone loves a fire truck. Yes. Unless it's coming to your, well, no, you do love it when it comes <laughs> to your house for a fire. And thank our yes. first responders yes. for coming. Well, Kannapolis is joining <laughs> those two loves together and hosting a fire truck parade Saturday, September 30th, 10 a.m. at Kannapolis City Hall. After the parade, keep celebrating at Kannapolis City Hall for an open house. For more information on the fire truck parade, Kannapolis City Hall, September 30th, 10 a.m., Visit KannapolisNC.gov or call 704-920-4343. Well, that's our show for today. We've had a great time here at the Concord Museum learning all about CTC and its rich history here in the area. If you missed any of the information we discussed, just go to CabarrasCounty.us slash on CTW. All the events will pull up. And if you don't have Spectrum Cable, we want to tell you about something new yes. and cool. You can watch our channel stream live on CabarrasCounty.us slash CabcoTV. We want to thank all of our Facebook fans and Twitter followers. You can get in on the social conversation at Cabarrus County. Don't forget to sign up for our weekly e-newsletter. It comes to you once a week. Go to CabarrasCounty.us, click in the right hand top of the screen, put your email address, and it comes straight to you. And we want to thank again the Concord Museum for hosting us. We hope you come out and view the exhibit through January. It's a great way to learn about the Coltrans, which you hear about them all the time in the community. Yes. Come find out why their legacy is so important to Cabarrus County. Well, you have a great one. We'll see you next week. <laughs>